What's going on? It's Rock from Flip the Thrift. We are in the basement, aka the dungeon, back with part two of the video. Stay tuned, you won't want to miss all my stuff. Okay, hole in the floor of heaven. There's a bunch of these and they have the disc and I tried to remove the one disc, but I couldn't I couldn't get it out. So I'm guessing that these are all yeah, because you have to break you have to break the plastic. And these are also these are all from Ollie's. The sticker does come off. Um it's a little it's not super hard to get off, but it does come off, so um I did grab this basket. Just to throw stuff in it. I'll probably just toss that out. I'll donate it or whatever. Um, here's another one. I grabbed this book because it was really cool. This was from Ollie's too. This I would imagine was a new book also. It's just the top is just really. Forward by Bill Cosby. Peanuts Guide to Life. Wow, I didn't know. This is a cool book. What do you mean forward? What is the forward? Like what does that mean? I think this came out in 2000. So... They were charging four dollars for it, so it's Peanuts, Peanuts Guide to Life. Um, I love Charlie Brown; it's a really cool show. I love the um, the Great Pumpkin and the Christmas Charlie Brown, and uh, it's just great. You love to watch. Is it Lucy? She's the one that pulls the football away, and he goes, ah. "Boom!" All right, so here's another book. This one is The Journey of Jesus. Um, I know they're not going to be worth much by themselves, but if I put them all together in one big lot, so so far we have one. We have two here. I'm going to try to keep these organized. Um, these are games. That's book. So book, movie, game, tape. And we have music. This is music. Music, music. Okay, so I don't know what this is. Wallet B? I don't know if these are worth anything. I didn't look it up, but I opened the box. And I was like, well, this is a brand new item. It's really cool. It's like a pink. I think it was pink. Like a pink purse childproof i can't even get it open all right so here is the that's the instruction manual and i guess this is the this is the purse so here you go i don't know what these are worth um it might not be worth anything it could just be that type of thing that you know something from amazon or whatever something that somebody tried to drop ship a million of them and it didn't work so i don't know um let's see what's in here this is the this the manual i guess is there a book in here? What is in here? I don't know what this is. Oh, what is this? It's got a little disc in there. Ooh, what is that? We're definitely going to have to look this up. I don't know what... This is something that you plug in. So what does the wallet do? It's a wallet. Wallet B. Like wallaby, get it, kangaroo, ha ha. Um, I don't know, dude. Oh, that's an MP3 player. That's what it looks like. And I guess you put it in the wallet. Ooh, look at that. There's money in there. Ooh, there's a fake $20 bill. Check that out. All right, so we'll see. See what it's worth. I don't know. Might not be worth anything. Might be, might be worth something. So, we'll see. We'll try it out. But either way, it's brand new. It's a new item. Even if it's only worth $10, you know, it's still something. I don't. My, I know my wife likes purple, but I don't think that she would be interested in anything. But this is brand new in the box, so we'll see. I'll have to look that up. Um, I should probably go a little bit faster. All right, we have Love Me Tender. We have 3D, uh, yeah, three CDs. Hems. I did check all of these. All the CDs are in perfect condition. I'm doing very well with media. Every time I just keep listing it and it just keeps selling constantly. So I'm just going to keep listing it. And that's the reason why I picked it up. This is cool. Jackie Mason's favorite comedy hits. Um, these are brand new. It was a little dirty right here. Um, may, may have been the cover um, that sealed it right there. But I cleaned it up with Goo Gone. It's good as new. Brand new. It's a whole disc set. Um, it does stop at 10, so I don't know if there was more because there's an empty. It may have just been that was how many that um, how many pages were in this, and there was just a different amount of discs 
for the set. So we'll see about that. I'll have to check that out. Um, Eric Clapton, best of era. That's brand new. Brand new condition. Peter, Paul, and Mary. These are in new condition. They're not worth a ton, but I know that this isn't worth that much, but I picked it up because it is new. Um, it's something that is going to be a little more pricey to ship, but um, probably like $7. So, And I believe it only sells for 7 if I'm not mistaken. I did pick up another one too, so I'm not sure which one that was. So here's some more media. We have sentimental songs that will live forever. Now all of the condition of these CDs is, is just perfect. Celebration, today's great song. There's another set. These Reader's Digest sets sell really well. I just sold a whole big box of Reader's Digest sets for like $80. This was cool. Jimmy Carter. This is brand new. Probably not worth a ton, but you know. We have Guitars Volume 2. Jazz. Um, I didn't see the other one. There was only one there. Um, I probably could have spent a little bit more time going through there, but I wanted to go to other places too. I didn't want to... I think when you go to the bins that you should just concentrate on just the bins when you go. So, whatever. If you guys like this hat, just let me know. Just check out my eBay store. If it's still available, it'll be there. I'll cut you a deal. All right. So, I didn't look this up. There's something that I just threw in the bin. This is a stamp puppy. I don't know what it's worth. I have to look it up. So, we'll see. Um, I picked up this flyers bag. Pretty much brand new. It's probably not worth a ton. It's just a cinch. I guess they call them like cinch sacks or something or whatever. It's like a gym bag. Like a quick gym bag, you know. Alright. I didn't mean to pick these up because I'm missing a cassette. So, that kind of sucks that there's only two of them. But, you know, can't win them all. Where's that other cassette? We'll just throw that in there, right? There we go. Now we have a set. No, I'm kidding. But whatever. All right. So I know that this is another language. I don't know if this is. Um, I think it's Russian. I think that's Russian. So I can type that in. Um, it's actually the disc is actually broken. So hopefully nothing else is broken in there. But it is damaged. But it will still sell. I don't know what this is worth. It is a four disc set. Um, I can probably take the plastic off of it and replace the and replace the jewel case and they'll be like brand new either way i don't think that it might be worth more sealed the discs aren't loose inside but they could be scratched or broken inside from being trampled <clears throat> so i picked up this brita these are usually only worth about seven dollars you want to pick up the bigger ones and you want to get them as cheap as you can because um, a lot of people find them and list them it's just one of those items that everybody knows about and they all pick them up and they all try to sell them all right, so I've been doing well with school books. I just sold the rest of those other ones. So I picked these two up. These are two school books. Um, this one's Totally Autumn, and this one's Busy Bee. So these are for, like, autumn, fall, you know, whatever. They're just, like, workbooks. But um, I'll probably just put them together. They may sit for a while. They may sell right away because people might buy something now to use later. So you got to think about that. Like, people might buy something for Christmas now. And use it, you know, when Christmas comes. And vice versa. Or, you know, and the same goes for, um, like, Halloween items and things like that. So you got to take that into consideration. I just list it, you know, whatever. I don't care how long it sits for. All right, so I got to take a look and see what the condition is in these discs. If you ever see this Johnny Cash set, if you can pick it up for, like, 5 or 10 bucks, pick it up. It will sell for $60 used, $100 new. Um, I believe that the discs in here are probably like brand new. I'm going to have to take a look at them. But my guess is with the, all of this media being in the condition that it's in, it was probably all donated by the same person. It's all the same. Um, it's not the same type of music, but um, there was just a lot of media all in one spot and it was all in really good shape. So I'm guessing that that's going to be in, in pretty good condition. All right, so we got these outfield... All right, so pick these up. Um, I know I'll do well with these. They may sit for a while, maybe till baseball. But um, these are outfield drills. These are just like baseball training DVDs. So um, maybe they'll sell. Maybe they won't. I don't know. All right, 101 favorite Bible verses for women. This is going to go with the Bible stuff. That's pretty cool. Got some remotes. I got one, two, three, four remotes. I got the high sense. I got a Hisense remote. 
Um, I got an all for one remote, and I'll test them. If you guys don't know how to test them, turn your camera on facing um facing out so that when you point the pointer in, make sure you have fresh batteries in it. Point it in, and if you see the light and the light turns blue, it won't work like that, but it'll work if I do it myself. I point the camera that way and you know put the light in but like this it's not going to work you're not going to see the light you won't see it but you'll see it it'll glow you'll see the glowing <clears throat> so this is an RCA um direct TV remote that um yeah I'm sorry that was an all for one and this is an Iowa um the Iowa ones should do really well um it's a little dirty it's definitely got bad batteries inside of it so um I will open this one up and clean this this is will be on my first That'll be on my priority list. Okay. Um, this is cool. Emerson Bass Boost. So this thing probably really packs a punch. Um, there's no batteries in it, which is a good thing because then that means that there's no corrosion um, from leaving batteries in it. This is, I wonder if it has the date on it. It's cool when they have the dates on them. Emerson Radio, blah, 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 blah. Sometimes they do. But it's really cool. It has the Bass Boost on it right there. Just one button. I will put batteries in it. I will test it. Hopefully it works. Um, lately, I've just been finding a bunch of um, of electronics that just don't work. And, you know, that sucks. <laughs> really does. All right, so I think I picked this up just to... Um, I only grabbed this because it's like in brand new condition. The Gospel of Jesus. This is also brand new. Somebody handed that to me. Um, this is also brand new. It is sealed sealed at the top. It's sealed right here, so I know it's brand new. This was 101 um, hymns and print. Oh, wait. The CD's coming out of it. Ay, not good. That's not good. Yeah, not good that it's coming out like that. Shouldn't do that. It's got to go this way, too. Yeah, man. That's, they're all loose in there. All right, so I may have to cut that open um, and make sure that the discs are actually inserted properly inside. They probably should have put like a piece of styrofoam inside there to keep that from moving around. I was surprised. I knew this was going to be valuable. This is a, it's called Pocket Arcade Sega by Tiger. Really cool. Just opens up and it's like a little, little video game. It's really cool. This is actually like a $15 item, $15, $20 item. I was actually surprised. That was worth that much. I've never seen binocular teddy bear. Um, I didn't get a chance to look at the date on it. Oh, it's a puppet too. Is it a puppet? No. But it does open up. Pretty cool. That is adorable. Something's loose inside. Probably a piece of plastic or something. But I um, found a couple of... Found two Tom Toms. There's one. Too. Um, they do sell. They sit for a really long time and sold one in a while. I actually have a couple that are listed. I may have to take a look and see what's going on with them. Found a rat video. This video is actually worth anywhere from you know closer closer to $20, which isn't bad for a VHS tape. Um, I do have a VHS tape player. I'm going to test these out. I did pick up a bunch of VHSs. This one is Ric Flair. That one's really cool. That one's probably worth money. There is a guy that actually buys this type of stuff off of me, but this isn't a WWF, it's ECW. So, I don't know, maybe I could contact him and ask him if he wants to buy it. And um, He pays top dollar for everything that I find. Um, this is WWF Heat, 2000. so these are from 2002. So these are actually, it's kind of unusual that they recorded it from 2002. Pretty cool. Um, but if these are things that... I'm probably just going to sell them. There's AWA, Classic Wrestling, Pay-Per-View. Cool. Those are neat. There's, there's another one, too. There's another one. This one is SmackDown, 2001, Fantastic Series, Tag Teams, Heat 3. These are There's SmackDown 4, 12, 2001, and Heat 4, 22. These are dope. These are all WWF, so that's really cool. Those videos are neat. I'm going to... um. What I'll do is I'll pop them into VCR, take a couple pictures of them actually playing, and that will sell, you know, that will seal the deal right there. <clears throat> okay, so you gotta smile. Everybody's using that same. Why is everybody using the same style? Like everybody's doing this print thing. 
they're all using that cursive same exact writing style like be different I, I don't i just don't get it i don't understand my daughter does it too and it's the same style writing like i'm glad that she's doing something she's hustling and, and doing that but <clears throat> i think that people should be a little bit more unique when they do things but it's just my opinion monsters of rock oakland 1979 that's pretty cool um aerosmith holland poland um donington or something I don't know. I'll have to test them out and see how they are. Um, I don't want to take the, I don't want to take the cover off of this one, because he has it all taped up and he's got everything written right on the tape. So that's really cool. All right. So I did look this book up. Um, the collected poems of Sarah Teasdale. Um, this is about a thirty dollar sale right here, and this is in very good condition. This is an old book. It is from nineteen thirty nine. There you go. 1939 pretty old book all right um 30 bucks right there and i made sure to test this before i left this is sony dream machine it does need a little bit of work i do need to hit it up with some um with some goo gone and i need to clean it it doesn't have a handle though like you can't carry it like a regular radio it just kind of sits on your desk but it does work i did put a cd in it i put that salt and pepper in it and it was loud everybody turned around and looked at me like Shoop a doo. No, I was playing something else. I was playing the first song. What's the first song on the album? Groove Me. Groove Me. Not anything that anybody really knows, right? L Live Like You Were Dying. Okay, so it includes CD single lyrics. Um, this is Tim McGraw. There was two of them. So this is another one where it has the CD. I don't know what these are worth. Um, they were trying to get $4 for them at Ollie's. So, whatever. I'll put them together. I have a bunch of these. So, so far we have we have three, not counting the double for that one. Then we have, this is a really nice book, Walking with the Lord. Um, I didn't look this up. Um, this is a nice book. I think, actually I did look this book up, and I think it did have a, it had a little bit of value to it. So, um, let's put the books. Let's kind of keep things a little separated here. All right, so there's the books. There's that. Man, there's a lot of media. Got two Leafster games. I figured I'd take both of these and lot them together. You have the princess and the frog, and then you have the, the Disney princess. So there's those two. All right. And we have another CD book, God's Mirror, that has the CD in it as well. Then we have the 20 best of Louis Armstrong. This is brand new. Church Classics. There's some more um, religious material um uh, somebody handed this to me as well scenic walks of the world readers digest i did look this up and it doesn't it doesn't go for that much but it is brand new um um i should be able to get at least 20 bucks for that sometimes when you scan an item don't always go by just what you're scanning it for it's not always about the scan because not everybody puts the upc code in when they list an item a lot of times people will type something in, they'll find it, and then that's how they'll list it. Um, I scan everything that has a barcode, and if I can find it, I can find it. If I think that I need to double check it, then I'll then I'll hit the microphone on my phone and I'll talk into in for eBay, um, into the app, and I'll say what I'm looking for. Or if it doesn't, because um, a lot of time the speech recognition doesn't work the way that you want to work. It's always complicated. Then you have to type it in. You got to go. Bloop, 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 bloop. Um, but uh, yeah, sometimes make sure you're doing your doing your research and uh, scanning a barcode doesn't always work. It's not always going to show you all of the listings that are active and all of the listings that are um, that are sold. So make sure that you do that also if you have time or if you think that the item is probably more valuable um, and that you think that it probably sold. All right. So I don't know if I've ever seen this. It's called Body Double. Full screen version, rated R, interactive menu. I don't know if this is a, if this is one of those movies that is maybe a little racy or maybe a little racy. I mean, like you know, sexual. But um, I have to look it up. I didn't look it up. I just kind of grabbed it. So whatever. Then we have weight loss. We have a CD for weight loss. That's brand new. Um, we have the best of bizarre. I think there was two of them up. Oh, it's not even in here. I didn't notice that. Uh, well, 
It's volume one, but it's not in there. So that one's empty. That's a no-go. The other one's probably empty too, maybe, huh? What do you think? There is the suction cup for one of the Tom Toms, but it's cracked. The rubber's broke on that one, so it's not going to stick very well. All right, here's the other one. Let's see if the disc is in that one. Nope. So I'll just keep, what I do is I'll keep the cases. I'll throw the paper away and keep the cases. I'll just take these cases and throw them in a box. I have a big box that um, I put all my cases in. And if I need to use this case, this will work for like a Nintendo Wii game because it's a white case, you know, or whatever. So keep your cases. Don't throw them away. You might be able to use them another t for something else. Then we have the National Geographic Lord of the Rings. I have no idea what this is about, what this is. Um, the Ultimate Companion to the Hollywood Blockbuster, The Fellowship of the Ring. I, it's about the movie, and, you know, I guess they dig deeper into the history of it. I, I don't know. But um, I grabbed that because it's in perfect condition. Um, I grabbed this because it's Paul McCartney. Um, it's not in the best condition. I'm going to try to clean the cover up. Um, I use Goo Gone for everything. Now, that will take all that dirt off. I even use baby wipes, too, which reminds me I need to buy more. I'm, I'm almost out. I don't want to steal them from my daughter because I know she has some laying around, but I don't like to do that. I like to buy my own. Um, this is Mother's Sister's Daughters. There's other ones like this that are sold, but they're a little different than that. So, All right, so we're almost through the first bin. <laughs> yeah, I have to go a little bit faster. My wife likes to do these um, these coloring books, so I'm going to give that to her. So that's, that's for my wife. I picked up these patterns. There's a bunch of them. Some of them are the same. Some of them are different. Um, these are just, when you see stuff like this, there's like four of them that are the same. I can just list one and just put a quantity of four. So there's pearl painting, tulips and daffodils. This is um, this is a Candemar design. That's what it is. It's a, I guess it's a pattern. It's a, I think they're patterns. But there's one, two, three of the tulip one, four of the tulip one, and then there's a serenity prayer. Then there's one that has a serenity prayer, which is cool. Which is um, probably something that somebody would buy. So that would be listed separate. Alright, and then we got Love. What's it called? It's called Love Warrior. Okay. Sealed brand new. That's why I picked it up. Some of these things might not sell for a whole bunch of money, but they're listings. And um, they're definitely going to sell if you list them right, if you list them for the right price. Um, if you ever see, oh, this is not even, this isn't even Legos. Foco.com. I thought this was Legos. Um, but it's New York Giants. It's a New York Giants helmet, like a Lego helmet, but it's not made by Lego. It's made by another company, Foco. <laughs> Faco. Faco. Okay. I didn't notice that. Um, it might be worth something. It might be one of those sets, you know, then it, it might have some value. Here is another, um, blank cassette blank um tape so then we got a bin got a whole it's a good bin too another bin with no lid you know yippee all right so we're on the next bin let's get it done all right so i didn't i i thought this was from cars i wasn't sure but um this is from the cars movie um the car itself just like this i don't think that there's a remote to this Correct me if I'm wrong, there probably is. I think you plug it in. Yeah, I think there's a remote to this. But, I wonder if I have it. No, I don't think I do. I just picked up a bunch of remote control cars yesterday. I think I showed you guys. Um, I don't know if I put them in the haul video. I don't remember. I think I did. Got a bad memory. But anyway, the car itself goes for about $25. So, um, I, I take it you have to charge it? I don't know what this is for. I know that these are usually like some type of chargers, but I don't know. So, yeah, that's worth about $20. We're going to take this stuff that we can put into the bin. We're getting a dog on Friday, and this is going to be our picture of our dog. This was brand new. It's the reason why I grabbed it. So, somebody actually got it for Christmas, and they never used it. It happens. It happens. It happens. All right, so this is a gun holster. Um, I don't know if this is supposed to be for a real, for an actual gun, um, or if this is a toy. I don't think so. I don't know why they would make it in leather. Maybe it is, but it says Lauren on it. So I'm going to have to do a little bit more research on this. There's no name on it at all. It does kind of look like a toy. It's really small. 
So yeah, this is definitely this is a children's um, leather holster. Probably something made in Mexico. When you go to Mexico, they make things out of leather and stuff like that, and you get them as like, um, what you call it, um, uh, um, as like a, a mem memorabilia or whatever uh, souvenir. Couldn't think of the word. All right, so found this Dell MP3 player. It's a 20 gigabyte. Really cool. I seen it. Dell. I was like, Dell. I was like, wow. Okay. And then I looked it up. I'm like, okay. I was like, I think it's an MP3 player. I'm actually going to plug it in. It won't unplug. There we go. It was really hard to unhook. All right, let's plug it in. See what it does. <clears throat> It'll probably start installing on my computer. Yep, it works. Ta-da! Awesome. This will probably charge it. Yeah, this is charging it. So, well, let's let it sit and charge. Cool. That um is like $30 or $35. I think it's like... Love these things. I got a bunch of them. I actually have it backwards. Get your grip going on with that. Um think about 30 bucks. I was expecting it to be worth way more than that. I thought it was going to be something cool. Like, wow, I found a hundred dollar item, but whatever. I'll take the 30 bucks. It's all good in the hood. All right. So I seen this and I knew that it was for Nintendo, obviously, but I don't know if this is a switch book or a Wii book. I'm going to take it out and look at it. I'm going to see right now. It's Wii. It's for the Wii. It's the Wii Operator's Manual. I may even be able to hold on to this and put it with a Wii if I need to. Or I can just sell this separate for somebody that's trying to complete the Wii. I really don't think that it's that important because it's just one of those items. It's not worth a lot. Alright, so we have these are from Six Flags Great Adventure. Two cups. Um, I believe I can get about $15 for both of these cups. They look like they were probably never used. Um, they're in very good condition. So um, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. All right, so here's those helmets, and then here's the rest of them. There's the other ones I found. So we have Boston. It's funny because they're in different areas. They're a little scratched up. We have another um, Montreal. Is that what that is? Something like that. That's Montreal. That's Montreal Expos. That is... Um, is that Minnesota Twins? I think I said what it was earlier. I don't remember. There's another Braves. San Diego Padres. Toronto Blue Jays. Pretty cool. So we got a couple doubles in here, but we do have a bunch of them. I'll probably just sell them all together. A couple bucks. You know, nothing. We're not going to get rich, but whatever. Um, So I thought this was really cool. This is a U.S. Air Force um, stocking. Somebody's really going to want to get, it's really cool. It even has a cargo pocket on it. Man, this is dope. I wonder what these things cost. Camo sock. Camosock.com. Holiday gift delivery system. These are made in USA too. These are really cool. I don't know what they're worth. It could just be a company that just makes them and you know, whatever. It might not be worth that much, but I think I have another. I grabbed this stapler because this is a paper pro and it's like, Man, that's a heck of a stapler right there. That's what I need. I need a real stapler. Yeah, see? You put them in like this. You put them in under there, and then... Yeah, this is a stapler. This is what I need. I need a good one. So um, I'll put some staples in it. We'll test it, and we'll see how it works. I did have some electric ones. I was like, I don't need an electric stapler. i got to fix my pants, man. It's like... Mm. Got it. Oh, rolling around. Oh, I'm not finishing off. He's dead. He dead. Okay, so we're back in the basement. Um, it's eight o'clock on. What's today? Wednesday. Wednesday was half off day. Part two of the video. My son's birthday is tomorrow. He's going to be 15. My other ones are going to be 17 in June. 
and I'm going to be 34. So we're all getting old. So without further ado, with that being said, and all this, that, and the, and the third, we're going to get started on the video right now. So, all right, I was looking these up. I did get these at the community aid. These were not from the bins. They were, however, half off, so I did pay $4 for 20 of these. Now, these are the CDRPW, which is printable white surface, um, surface, blah, blah, blah. So these are printable. That's what I was trying to explain um, earlier. I don't know if I cut it out or whatever, but this one is, looked like it was open, but it's not, it's not missing anything. So we'll deal with that later. Um, those are worth a little bit more because those are printable. So here are the cups. I'm going to have to clean them and I'm going to have to glue the handles because that one's good. These are Schlitz. These are vintage Schlitz beer mugs. This one has water in it. Mm. Uh-oh. How do you get that out? Has a crack in it. Mmm. Like this one's fine. This one's fine. This one has a crack in it, so I may have to. <sighs> I might have to toss this one. I might include it. This one's dirty on the inside, too. So I don't know what the deal is. Yeah, this one's cracked. It's cracked on the top. So. This one I'm probably just going to toss out. This one is also broke there. Um, it wasn't cracked. I did drop one of them, so I don't know if I broke the one. Hopefully, I dropped the one that was broke anyway. So that's going to be no good. All right, so let's move this over here. Put new ink in my printer. I got my print page. I hate when these pages... Let me go. Let me know down below. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Let me know down below if you guys hate when this, when this page prints out and you get stressed out about your ink because it's so expensive. Thirty dollars for I use XL though because it lasts longer. Um, okay, so we're gonna get right into this. Here's the helmets from the last haul. I'm gonna look and see if I can find the other ones are in here somewhere. So, which is good because I'm gonna include. I will include all of them. Then I gotta rip that tag off of there, of course. What else is new? All right, so we have sand. San Francisco Giants, we have, is that Montreal Expos, Florida Marlins, Yankees, Braves, I don't know why the Braves hat would be blue, I guess, I, I've seen the one with the red, with the red rim, and Detroit, Detroit Tigers, I think that's Detroit Tigers, all right, so let's keep moving with the video, this I put, and I wait until I have a bunch of these, and I sell them in a lot, found the tale of Despero. Um, they were trying to sell it for $3. This was at the bins. Um, I picked it up because it's new. I don't know what it's worth. Um, it could only be worth like maybe like $6. I, I'm not really sure. I didn't look it up. Um, I just grab things when I'm there because I know they're going to be cheap. Pepper spray. Um, hopefully this wasn't already open. I don't think it was. A lot of stuff was coming from Ollie's. Now I, I went into Ollie's before. Beware. The stuff is cheap, but not cheap enough to make a profit. So when you go in there, it's better just to shop for things that you need. And um, now I would imagine that they do have sales once in a while that it would probably be um, important to pop in once in a while. But I only went in there one time and that was enough for me. That was proof for me that um, they're just not, uh, all, they're not about that lifestyle. So, you know, <laughs> all right. So I got a lot of Christian um, stuff. This is a Christian. Oh, this is actually a double disc. This is the Wow Christmas 30 Top Christian Artists. All of the Christian media I'm going to sell together. So we have that. Joy and Light. Um, they're playing our song. This one is new. I, I picked up a couple of them that were new. So that was new. Then we have uh, the Best of the Blues. I had to pick that up. Most of the ones that I've went through so far were in good condition. I'm going to go through them as I list them, so I'm not going to do that now. I do tend to waste a lot of time just kind of gallivanting or whatever you want to call it. I just kind of waste time doing um, things that I don't have to do at the moment. Okay, I did look this up. Um, I think, did I look this up? I don't remember. I, I picked it up because it's in really good shape, and um, I don't know. Live at the Grapevine Opry. I don't know what this is. We'll take a look at it. Who knows? I don't know. I think there was a bunch of these. All right, so we have the hunting 
Expedition Pack. We have Elk Hunter. We have Tiger Woods 06. That's probably not worth anything. Um, then we have Top Gun. Um, we have the Rugrats. All grown up. So we have Hole in the Floor of Heaven. Um, okay, so I was going to put this with the stocking. This could go in the stocking. This is just an army lanyard, um, but it's brand new. So I figured that I would put those two together and I would lock that up. And that would probably sell really well. All right, so I found these found these books. Um, I don't know if you guys heard about the Dr. Seuss books that are being pulled. Um, I'm not even going to look for them. I'm not even going to list them. Um, you're not supposed to list them, so I'm not going to get in trouble for doing that. Man, it makes me itchy down here there's so much dust in my basement i vacuum every day too and it's it's just a basement and there's just so much stuff down here all right so i found these books i was even telling people i was like this book set um i think 24 sold for 80 dollars. this is called the the disney babies out and around you can see it right up there and they have the handles on them so that they can carry the carry the book around you know around the house so let's see how many there is. See if we have close to that many. We have oh, this one's terrible. This one's like falling apart. So some of them are in really good shape. Like this pink one's in perfect condition. Like this one's in great shape. Like it would complete somebody's set that was looking for you know better. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Um, there's 17 of them, but they're not in the best condition. Maybe I should just sell the ones that are that are in better condition. It would make more sense just to do like the ones that are in perfect shape to sell them one at a time and to toss the rest of them because they're just in terrible, terrible condition. They're just not worth selling. I think that's probably what I'll do because somebody might be trying to complete a set and they might need that book because um, I think I did see the book selling alone for like $10. So probably what I'll do. I was going to put this in my car. I already have one. Um, just kind of like a little notepad for your for your car for when you want to take notes and stuff. This is cool. Um, I wonder if the pen is any good. Let's see. Got your handy dandy notebook. No, nope, it doesn't. Sometimes you can heat up the tip. They dry out. Eh, whatever. Don't got time to play around with the notepad. Okay, Blue's Clues. All right, so I picked these up because... I'm like over here talking. You have no idea what I'm saying. Something fell. What fell over? All right, so I picked these up because they are selling for $10 a book. They are the Constitution of the United States. They're just like little mini books. Um, somebody sold like a hundred of them for like 80 bucks. So I don't know why anybody would want to do that. Maybe for like a class for school. Not really sure. But they are all the same. Constitution, Constitution. They are all, yeah, they're all the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to list one. And just sell them one at a time and it'll just be a replenishable um which is what i want i wish everything i had was replenishable so there is a ton of i'll make my money off this haul just on these books but they'll sell you know slowly over time but i did they were selling like crazy so um the selfie rate on these is actually really good and that's the only reason why i picked them up um well two reasons one because they're replenishable um and the second reason because they are actually selling at a really good rate so I'll take them. Normally, I wouldn't pick things like that up, but why not? You know, just let them sit. They'll sell. All right. So we have dancing, romancing, dancing, and romancing in the fifties. I hate when they put their stickers on right there. They're a pain in the butt to get off. I mean, you can use heat. You can do a bunch of things, but we have forever fifties that can actually go with that because that's fifties and sixties. And then you have another songs for worship and when i went and looked at all of them they're all they're all in perfect condition like there's a little dust on it all the discs are in great i couldn't be happier when it comes to this media 
because when you can put in your listing that it's perfect condition, that just sells the listing right there. And you don't have to worry about it getting returned because it's they're going to get it in perfect condition. It's perfect, perfect media. So I got to do a little bit more research on this. Um, I believe Adobe Creative Suite 5.5 Master Collection Student and Teacher Licensing. Now, everything's already here. The numbers are already written inside for the... They're inside here. I'm not going to show you, but there's one, one, two, there's three discs. And then all the numbers are there. Everything is right there for this. I'm not sure if you can still use it. Um, I don't know if it's usable again. I think because you have that number, you have to call in and get that number. Because they have that number, it can be used again. As long as the person, I guess, isn't using it now. I don't know if it's registered with an email. I don't know. I have to look up um do more research on it sometimes you just got to sell them and if they get if it gets returned it gets returned i mean for such a high dollar item though i would hate for it to get returned so i'll do a little bit more research on that before i list it um we have the oregon trail usually do okay with things like this i think there's a couple more i'll just lock them together which i'm gonna work on that um probably tonight this is the Rainbow Six covered. Uh, I actually should try to install this on my computer and see if I can play it. There's the first disc and there's the second disc, but they're just not in very good condition. Excuse me. Um, so we've got a couple items there. All right, so I looked this brand up. This brand is called um, Charlie Horse. They do very well online. They're really cute. They're women's. Um, these are these are just, I guess, ankle boots. Call these ankle boots, even though they're not really ankle boots. They're like slip on, um, but they're really they look really good on the bottom. The heels are in pretty good shape. They're not too bad. They're a little scuffed up, but they're boots. So, um, yeah, I seen them selling for like fifty dollars for a boot, for ones like these. Now they might have been in better condition. I may get maybe 30 for them. So we'll see. New brand. I've never heard of Charlie Horse. I'll give it a shot and see how it works. I like trying new brands. Shoes are a long tail anyway. They sit forever. Because I probably don't pick the right ones. But I did pick this up yesterday. And it doesn't work. So I'm going to try this remote with that one. And maybe, maybe I'll get lucky and it'll just be the remote. Because the other remote might just be broken. I don't think this is the same one though. So, I don't know, maybe I'll just sell it separate. I might just give the one toy to my to my um to my grandson and sell both the remotes. So that's that's always an option. So, I found this, which is really cool. Here is the the piece. I don't know where you put that. Does it open? Yeah, it does. I don't know if it's an antenna or whatever, but it opens up. It's the serious satellite all right so i did find the one piece and then i seen this and i went oh wow this is the serious um this is a serious satellite i don't know what it's worth but for what i paid for everything um the one dvd to, to pay for everything i can pretty much sell it for whatever i you know what the market is is actually what it's actually selling for and not really worry about it so i'm going to clean this up i'm going to test it um I think it's missing the piece. So is that what it's missing? I do have the remote. Yeah, that's what it's missing. It's missing the actual satellite that sits there. So this is just the dock and the remote. I do have the remote. And I think that this is probably the antenna. So let's see. Let me transfer this stuff over into here. So I don't think that this antenna goes to it. I wasn't sure, but I grabbed it anyway because it's just another. I'll just put it away if I don't need it. This is Iowa. Yeah, that's for something else. All right. Um, let's see. Here's the rest of it. Still got some more stuff, guys. Bear with me. Um, hope you guys are enjoying my video. If you like what you're seeing... Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. It helps the channel um, greatly. Okay, so I guess they took the battery. Well, at least they had the, you know, at least they were nice enough to take the battery out of it so the battery wouldn't die. So that's pretty cool. 
Um, and then these pieces were there. I don't know what these go to. I guess these are just extra dock pieces. They're just in there for different things. Here's another. Oh, these are. I know what. I think I know what these are. Is this for like if I wanted to hook something else up, like an iPod, maybe? That's what that looks like. So, yeah, I think that's what these are. I think that's what that might be. Do a little bit more research on it. There's some paper. I think that was for the remote, but still really cool. I'm going to take another look up. Oh, I brought the Comber home. I never found the other one. I brought that home. <laughs> one shoe. So maybe I'll just put it up somewhere. Maybe I'll clean it. I'll clean it up and I'll just tie it up and just kind of sit it, sit it on the shelf somewhere. It's still cool. That is a cool shoe. Um, I probably should have looked for the other one. I can always go back tomorrow. Now, I got to stop shopping. I got to start listing my stuff. All right, so here is Business Plan Pro. There's, I think there's only one sold. This is, um, I think there's only one listed. There may be one sold, but um, not really sure what this is worth, if it's worth anything. I got to do a little more research on that also. And I know we have a good pizza cutter, but this is a really good pizza cutter also. This is one to really fall back on. This is, um, it's got a little bit of rust going on there, but that's okay. That's not going to really affect the, the pizza when you cut it. It's pretty sharp. It's got a nice wooden handle. It's just a really good, um, solid, really good item. How is it fitting inside the handle though? That's what I want to know. Is it really in that handle? I think the way that it's built I think the way that it's built, I think that it kind of goes through. I think there's metal that goes through the handle because it's more than one piece. See how it's like pieced together? Because there would be no way that you could just sit this into this piece right here without it falling. or Because you got to really put some stank on it when you're cutting pizza, you know? <laughs> All right, so I did pick up a couple bags. This bag, I couldn't find. I couldn't find the make, like. I, I, I see the tag, but I couldn't read it. And I was so curious that I was like, you know what? I'm taking this bag. And it's just really good leather. It's really soft. Um, I don't know who it's made by. I know it needs a little wiped off right, right there. Is that? Yeah, see? Well, it just needs cleaned. It just needs wiped down. But this is like a doctor bag. This is cool. Like, I think that's what they call this. But it's just really... Really nice. I'm going to clean it up. It's going to look real good when I clean it up. And this was, um, this was a Saks Fifth Avenue. No, this is, I'm sorry. This is a Lord and Taylor. And let's see. Uh, it feels a little wet. It feels wet in, in the pocket. It's kind of, no, I don't know about this one. It's kind of flaking. Yeah, I think I'm going to toss this one out. This one's, I mean, it's nice, but I think it got weathered. I think that one got damaged. I might just have to toss that one out. Whatever. So here's my new coffee cup. I finally decided that, I've seen these before and I never picked it up, but I'm going to use this as my coffee cup. Since I take pictures all day, it's part of my job. Um, and it's perfect because I, I, have a, um, I have a Keurig machine and the big cup is exactly like that and it's you can't put really big cups under it either because you they won't fit so this is perfect this is like absolutely perfect for my curing so i'm going to use that from now on for my coffee and that's it and i found another pair of skull candies these are good ones too let's see if they work let's test them out how about we test them out let's put some music on see if they work they're a little bent though they're bent like from being in the wherever they were at they got kind of warped so let me see let's put some music on i'll just put a video on all right they work i know that these are about thirty dollars because i had the same pair and my son broke them so right now I have a pair of Beats. I have a pair, a red pair of um, wired Beats Solo. So these, these are going to get put away for my boys in case they break a pair. And then I got an extra pair. 
right there. All right, so I thought this was cool. Learn how to make ordinary objects defy gravity. The video is called Float. Um, so it's I guess it's for like levitating items or something. It's for like magic. But it has a bunch of stuff in it. Like this was in it. I don't know. I didn't even look to see what's in here. This is like, oh, this is like part of the trick. It's like string. Is that what that is? It's like string and a, but it's not, it won't come out. There it goes. There it is. Float. Magic string. So that's how you make things float. Ah, use string. Okay. And then there's hyper beam switch selection, press turn, um, light the darkness away. What is that? Does this go to it? I don't know if this was just thrown in there. I don't know what that's for. But I think I did look at the disc and it was actually pretty good condition. Almost new. Got a little scuff on it. But um, I don't know what this is worth. I didn't. It doesn't have a scan. You can't scan it. So it's actually you're just using. You're just using the string to levitate things. Not really a very good trick then is it just using string all right so i did find a pair of keens i haven't sold a pair of keens in a long time so i really don't know um they're in pretty good condition the bottoms of them are really good i did the bend on them and made sure that they're not dry rotten or anything they're okay they're kind of beat up i don't know maybe 25 bucks I'll probably sell them pretty cheap just to move them. They look they look worse now than they did in the store. They look better in the in the store. Um, this is all stuff from the bins also. So here is another. So I have that's actually Barron's AP. That's a Spanish second edition. This is a college prep pack. I did look this up. I think I looked this up and it was only like seven dollars. I don't think I looked up the. I looked up one of them. I don't remember. I forget. I have to look this one up too, but this is brand new. It's always good when you have items that are new. They're, they're, it's easier to list them. They sell faster. And I'm going to see if this will fit my wife's watch. Um, I don't know if this is an Apple watch or if this is the Galaxy, which is what she has. She has one of the Galaxy watches. This is cool. Um, but I think what she would have to do is she would have to take her watch, complete, take the band off to put this on. I think this is Apple. I'm not sure. Maybe it is. Uh, here's a couple, couple McDonald's toys. Here's a Team Hot Wheels. That's just a car. I'm um, not really sure what that one is worth, but it was new, so I picked it up. Um, here is another Happy Meal. This one is Power Mc, McPlay Power. I don't know what this is. I have no idea. It's just like a little frog, whatever. It's cute, but I don't know if it has any value. There was some, there was some Skylanders, and I did pick them up. Here's one. These are ones that we have already. I know they're not very valuable, so there's one. Um, I've never seen the ship before, so I'm kind of um, curious to see what the ship is worth. This one is just a little swashbuckling little swords. Um, there's another, there's like an evil knight. I don't remember any of the names. Um, I just list them. I know that's Spyro. That is, um, I think that's a different Spyro though. It's like, is that Spyro? I think that is Spyro, yeah. The game was pretty cool. I thought it was okay. I didn't think it was like a, you know, a super phenomenal game, but whatever. And last but not least, we have Stonewall Jackson. We have an autograph tape. Um, that's definitely... It says, Love Stonewall Jackson. Somebody must have got his tape autographed. I don't, um, I don't know what his autograph is worth. And I have no idea who he is. You guys know who that is? Let me know. Hit me down in the comments. Um, I, know, I don't think it's Splinter. It's not Splinter. It might be a Star Wars character. I'm not really sure. I have to look it up. I just picked this up because, you know, it was there. I threw it in the box. It's actually bent. This is an LG. And last but not least, that's the end of the thing. That's it. I'll have to test out that um, Sirius satellite. Bam! We have the Levi's belt buckle. 
Um, surprisingly, these are not worth that much. I thought that this would be worth way more. This is from 75. Is it 75 or 77? Levi Strauss. I think it might be. Wow. Is it 76? I think it's when I was born, yeah. 1976. Ben Gamot Brass Warns. Darien, Wisconsin, USA. Trademark reproduced by arrangement with Levi Strauss. I guess I'll just sell it with the belt. It's got the old school belt. My dad had a belt like this. I know because I got hit on my ass with it. Excuse my French. Um, so yeah, that's it. That concludes the second video. Um, I'm pretty sure that took a little bit of time. Maybe not that much time. Basically, all this is is just media that I'm going to lot a lot of it up together. Um, a lot of the religious stuff is going to go together. The other stuff is going to be very simple to list. And that's it. We'll get this belt buckle listed. Um, I think it's only worth like $20, something like that. We'll put some staples in my new staple gun, see how this works, or stapler, whatever. And uh, this is like a, that's a stapler right there, boy. Um, see how well that works. It's pretty loud. But um, yeah, that's it. I'm going to test out the satellite, um, the Sirius satellite, and see how that works. Um, I don't know if I have enough. I think I might have one. I might even have one that will fit on it. I'm not sure. I'll have to look. But I'm going to test a few items. There's not very many items that are electronic. Just um, basically just that Sirius satellite and this um, cassette player. But other than that, everything is basically media. The rest was clothing. I have the Dream Machine. I'm going to test that out. Um, I'm going to have to. I already tested that out. That works fine. All I have to do is clean it up. It just needs to be cleaned, and that can get listed. And that's it. I'm going to have to get to work because, you know, you can't just shop all day and not list nothing. So I'm going to have to get some things listed tonight before I go to sleep. It's already 9 o'clock. It's already late. And I'm already tired. So I don't know how far that's going to go. I may just have to just call it a day and then tomorrow just list hard. But I'm probably going to list a few items before I hit the sack, whatever. Because it's only 9 o'clock. I can probably work till like 11 call it a day but I need to stop doing that because I've been working late like that and that's not good for you You have to there has to be boundaries between your job and your family and you know your 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 um your chill time you know and uh but yeah with that being said thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed my video I hope you guys liked what I found um it was some cool stuff um definitely a lot of media that like I said the media should be I should be able to list that really quick. So, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. Hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to my channel. Peace, I'm out.